Okay, so in today's project, I'll be showing you guys how I did my personal website using Next.js, Contentful, Frame and Motion, and Tailwind. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. To better help you out, this video will have chapters, so you can just skip to the section you want to see. Of course, I would highly recommend watching through the whole video. Before we can even get started, we have to answer for ourselves why create a personal website in the first place? And why the hell would you use Next.js? Why wouldn't you just pick a random WordPress template of the internet and use it instead? Well, people create personal websites for all kinds of reasons. But when we talk specifically about portfolio websites, we are mainly focusing on one big reason, and that is to impress people. That's exactly why I created my website, because I need a way to look professional and to prove my skills. It should be clear as day now on why I didn't use WordPress. Because if I need to prove my skills, I wouldn't accomplish that with WordPress, because WordPress is amazing. It has everything you need to build a professional looking website really, really fast. But I'm not looking for convenience, nor speed of development. What I'm looking for is a way to prove my skills, or at the very least, prove that I'm able to produce solid results. So that's my reason for using Next.js for my personal website. But now let's take a look on how I did it. What you're seeing right now is a template made with Next.js and Tailwind. This will be the foundation of our website, but I swear to you, it will look and feel completely different when we are done. The first thing I started doing on the website was the landing page, because at least for me, the landing page is one of the most important parts of a website. They always say first impressions matter, so in our landing page, we have to strive for perfection. Now, you may notice some funny things going on while I'm programming. For example, I'm writing everything in Portuguese and I'm consulting the Tailwind documentation all of the time. When I first started making my website, I didn't plan on making my YouTube videos in English. So that's why I'm writing in Portuguese, because it's my native language. And I'm consulting the Tailwind documentation all of the time simply because it's my first time using the framework. <laughs> Come on, this wouldn't be a web development video if we didn't have a centering problem. I was so stressed out by these two divs not centering that, <laughs> that I actually just gave up and started playing Tetris. After playing some Tetris, I was actually able to fix the problem, and this is how landing page is looking now. The text is in Portuguese, but it will be translated to English later in the video. What we really have to look for here is responsiveness. Because as you can see, if we start to type this little by little, we will see that things start to break apart. As soon as we get to mobile sized screens, everything is just a mess. And this was always a challenge for me, because responsiveness is not an easy thing to do. Everything may look great on your screen, but completely broken on another device. But fortunately for us, Tailwind comes to the rescue. Because with Tailwind, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy to do responsive design. If you want to know more details about this, you can check out my blog on my website. But really briefly, what Tailwind allows us to do is basically styling our components without even looking at the CSS. We just style them by using classes. And as I said, this can be made responsive really easily. We just have to assign each class a type of screen, or better, a size of screen. 
So, after adding responsive design to the landing page, this is how it's looking like. But we can do better. Way better than this. Let's spice things up with animations. As I said before, for animations we are going to use Frame Emotion. I had zero experience with adding animations to our website, but Frame Emotion is so easy to use that even I could do it. After some experimentation, I came up with this. As I said, I had zero experience, so give me some credit. But I really think animations in a website makes total difference. I personally think that it makes the experience of using the website way smoother. But a website without content is but an empty shell. So, how will I manage content? For content management, I'm using Contentful. Every single time I make a post on Contentful, it automatically goes to my website and my whole website rebuilds itself as a static website. That's how my website can have really good speeds without losing the ability to have dynamic content. Now that we have responsive design, animations, content in a domain, our website is ready. I'm really happy to finish this project. It's been a long go of mine to have my own website. And I finally did it. Making this website was not easy. Making this video was not easy, but I think it was all worth it. I plan on showing here on my YouTube channel more projects that I do. So if you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe, it will help me out so much. And leave a like, that way I will be encouraged to do more videos. That's it, I hope you all liked and thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.